almost 4,500 notices to terminate rented properties were served on tenants at the end of last year. That's according to the Residential Tenancy Board. Meanwhile, an image of an eviction scene by an artist has caused a political controversy. This image, uh, tweeted by Sinn Féin TD, Ono Brain, has been criticised by government figures and the Association of Garda Sergeants and Inspectors. And today, Deputy O'Brien said he had a conversation uh, with the AGSI, uh, with Antoinette Cunningham, about the image, which he said was meant to be critical of government policy and not Garthi themselves. Well, I'm joined on my panel tonight by Minister of State Jack Chambers, Sinn Féin TD, a new party spokesperson for foreign affairs, Matt Carthy, Independent.ie Ireland editor Fionnán Sheehan, Broadcaster George Huck and Adam Doyle, the artist also known as Spice Bag. And I want to come to you first, Adam, um, because I want to ask you about that artwork uh, that's done exactly what I suppose you set out to do. And that's prompted a very strong response. How did you come up um, with this piece, with this reworking of an original piece and your intention behind it? So the piece is obviously a reworking of a painting uh, by Daniel MacDonald, um, which was a painting depicting an eviction during the famine. Um, and the reason I made the piece was to kind of draw, I guess, a parallel um, between evictions historically in Ireland and evictions more recently, particularly under the sort of recent past few governments that we've had. Um, and yeah, I, I, I actually made the piece a couple of years ago and I've been reissuing it as prints for charity. So anytime there's, a, I don't know, something particularly nefarious or egregious that I, I, I see and I feel strongly about in relation to sort of housing or evictions and stuff like that, I reissue it for, for charity. So um, uh, this print again, um, it's up on sale on my Instagram for 12 quid um, and that, all that money. All profit made from that will be going towards uh, a charity supporting someone like dealing with homelessness. I haven't decided who yet. Raised, you've raised an awful lot of money, haven't you, this time round? Few bob now, yeah. Thank you to uh, Owen for sharing it, I guess, in that regard, because um, I think it was on a couple of hundred and then he retweeted and it blew up. And now I'm, I think we're pushing, we're over 10K anyway. Um, so that that's that's pretty, I'm very happy with that, to be honest. Uh, uh, we heard from Antoinette Cunningham of the AGSI saying it was insultingly wrong to portray um, the Gardaí like this. What do you say to that reaction um, from, you know, Garda representatives around this image? Uh, like, I understand uh, Antoinette's reaction in terms of um, she's obviously something to do with the Gardaí and she, she doesn't want to see them in a negative light and I get that. Uh, what I would say is the image in question that I've used, that I've photoshopped into the painting, um, is an actual image of Gardaí participating in a real eviction in, in, in North Dublin, so I'm not being disingenuous at all in using uh, those Gardaí, masked Gardaí, um, in my image. Um, another thing I would say is that the Gardaí are present at the eviction uh, in the scene. They're standing beside the house, um, which, as far as I know, is something that Gardaí have to do if they're alerted to any potential breach of the peace. Um, they have to arrive. Now, in my opinion, throwing a bunch of people out of their house might be a breach of peace, but um, certainly uh, they have to be there. So I don't think it's an unfair thing to include the Gardaí in the image at all. But it wasn't necessarily meant as a dig at, you know, the Gardaí or Antoinette or anything. There's a whole bunch of other things going on in the image. And I think as well, if your emotional response to an image of an eviction is that you get upset about the fact that the Gardaí are in it, um, that might not be the correct emotional response to a bunch of people getting thrown out of their home. Uh, and... What did you make then of the reaction and the political reaction to Ono Bryn retweeting um, that image, uh, I think with a caption on it saying, no words needed? Were you surprised at that reaction that it, that it garnered quite quickly in political circles? Like, I'm not overly surprised that it made people, like, like, a, like a lot of people got upset um, and I feel like it was kind of like, I don't really use Twitter um, and that's where it kind of blew up. So there was a lot of people, you know, have taken shots back and forth at each other and people were sending me screenshots of mad stuff that people were saying to each other and all. Um, that wasn't really my concern, as I said, with the with the, the purpose of the print was to make, raise money for homelessness charities. So um, the whole political, you know, debate around it wasn't really uh, interesting to me in that way. Um, but, you know, most of the feedback I got was positive. I got one or two messages off people saying, you know, giving out about it, saying, you know, the same thing Antoinette was saying, that it was unfair on the Gardaí maybe. 
Um, but 99% of people were like, you know, fair play, just bought one, blah, 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 because the, the, the message behind it, I think, was ultimately um, positive in terms of it's raising money to help people. Right. So, OK, um, let's get some reaction to the rest of our panel. And Jack Chambers, just on the point that Adam is making there, that if you're seeing the issue in this image being about the Gardaí, you've missed the point of it entirely. Well, no, the issue is to do with Owen O'Brien uh, and uh, how he has uh, completely insulted uh, many of the rank and file members of Angarda Shia Khanna, um, offended um, many people across the ranks. Um, and I think his clarification today um, uh, it amounts to a, ref a refusal to publicly apologise for all those whom he's offended. So this year we have Owen O'Brien insulting thousands of members of Angarda Shia Khanna. Last year, he was saying he was threatening, saying he would sack a, a senior civil servant. I think it's a broader matter around uh, Sinn Féin's mm. respect for the for the state. Uh, you must and have been. Were you very thankful to Sinn Féin though over the weekend? You must, I mean, like in government, were thanks given. Like it's the perfect political distraction, isn't it? Um, mm. oh. You know, from the point that we mentioned at the top of the program, we have eviction notice figures that are out, and. This is what I suppose government are choosing to take aim on. Not, not at all, and uh, and I take really seriously the issues and the crisis in housing that we have, and trying to help people in housing. Um, and there's absolute sincerity around uh, trying to support people um, that are facing a difficult situation. Anyone who's received a notice. Um, sure, and, but and, this is and, what this what what was doing but, the round politically at the weekend. This is what we had Simon Harris coming out and talking about. Um, this was the discussion point over the weekend, on well, the weekend well, think, that the eviction ban was in, lifted. In, in addition to issues on housing, which we should speak about, and I'm happy to discuss, we also need to speak about the wider approach that Sinn Féin, Sinn Féin take to matters related to justice policy. Um, they've abstained on the Special Criminal Court. Um, they've attacked senior civil servants, threatening to sack them. They've uh, undermined and completely offended thousands of members of Angarda Shia Khanna. And that is a serious okay, issue well, and, an, and an issue that they, they need to let's, address. Let's part, bring and, and I think the, the, reason, the reason this is of concern, I think, to many members of Angarda Shia Khanna, because it's a Sinn Féin TD um, referencing Angarda Shia Khanna in that way. And, and if Sinn Féin were to enter right. government, uh, they were, you... they're very con they're members of their movement uh, conducted very serious acts against members of Angarda Shia Khan. Right. And Listen, that's why I'm many Jack, people are concerned. I've had loads of time now, and I really do want to get McCarthy in on this. Um, Owen O'Brien is not on the show tonight, despite him asking, uh, us asking him to come on the programme. Um, would it be helpful if he was here now instead of you? And that's no offence to you, Matt, but would it be helpful in this instance um, for Sinn Féin for offering clarity that, you know, um, Antoinette Cunningham of the AGSI said she was happy to receive clarity on it today, but would it be a good idea if Ono Brin was appearing more in broadcast media today to discuss um, his decision? Well, I'm very disappointed to learn, learn I'm your second choice, Claire, because I wasn't aware of that. I'll certainly be having words with our own press office um, because... I we, drove, we I, I drove the show, all the way all right, from, ca from County but, Monaghan this evening and the full expectation that you were looking forward to seeing me, um, to be quite frank about it. Let's, That's not let's being just talk about the issue at hand here. Um, the issue at hand, um, and you mentioned the fact that Jack had plenty of time, but anybody watching will see that he was very eager to talk about virtually anything other than the fact that there are 7,000 mm. people in their homes in rented accommodation tonight who have notices to quit, who have eviction sure. notices. And you're correct in one thing. Government are very keen to deflect away from that reality because the one question that Jack couldn't answer if you put it to him is, where are those 7,000 people going to go? Because the truth is, government don't have the answers. The truth is, to answer some of the charges that are put, Sinn Féin have huge respect for the Gardaí. We work with them across, um, across every single community. We actually are the people who represent their views in the Dáil, when we challenge Jack and his government right. colleagues to the fact that they have drastic, we have less Gardaí in several communities now than we had okay. a decade ago, you, and the implications that that is having for morale hmm. and for the um, potential of right. the Gardaí to actually do well, their Matt, job. You Matt, have, when, have Matt the hang on one second, Matt. When, when Ona Bryn said um, no words were needed, and then he had to go and clarify, talk to the a AGSI, and said I had a positive conversation, and we had a back and forth in that way on it, do you think maybe words were needed to give, you know, clarity and context to this that he was, in fact, referring to 
government policy and not the Gardaí, which he had to do later on in the day. Do you think that was a misjudgment? Uh, listen, of course, I'm glad that there was clarity. And if, you know, as politicians, we can tweet things and sometimes they can be mis uh, misinterpreted, misrepresented in some cases, but also sometimes they can cause genuine hurt. And mm. I recognise so that there were members a, of the Gardaí... Do you think it was were, a misjudgment? Were, Is this something that, that Sinn Féin believes? Do you think it's something that, that Owen Bryn believes on the matter? Yeah, I think looking at what Owen said today, he had a conversation with Ant Antoinette in there and and on behalf of her members, said categorically that it was never his intention well, to actually apologize. cast any, as, any aspersion on he, the guard. I think he should apologise publicly. Clarifications aren't apologies. And I, okay, I, I, well, would you, would you, like, do you think he should apologise? I think that I take the word of the Secretary General of the ASGI when she says that she has had apology. a conversation and that she has relayed that conversation to um, her members and that she is satisfied that the matter is now resolved. I don't know what the tenure or what the detail of that conversation was. I suspect Jack doesn't either. And I suspect Jack, again, is willing and eager okay. to talk about this, as opposed to the fact they were dealing with well, over 7,000 families your, who have your notices housing, your to housing leave their homes was the person and who don't know we're, where to go. We're and speaking about what a member of your party did yeah. and what he, what he tweeted, so it's your own party that has resulted in creating this conversation. I really wish, I really that's wish, right. so I really that's wish you were... Okay. I want to talk about the political yeah. back and forth because while something was mm. tweeted or retweeted, then there was a very strong response from government on it, it has to be said. And Fiona, to well, bring you in this? on this... I really no wish Jack would be as eager to listen to what Ono Bryn has had to say when he He's been pointing out for the past right. year and more okay, the solutions to the housing Fiona. crisis that Jack and his colleagues are Fiona. overseeing. Um, just on this, um, like it really has blown up and Ona Brain has stated that it was intended as a criticism of government policy. But what do you make of the political to and fro on this over the weekend, on the weekend that the eviction ban was lifted and those figures that we're talking about now this evening with, you know, uh, people representing the homeless saying, you know, we are facing into a tsunami of evictions here and how this is all... This is the political story. Yeah, this, I mean, we had, did have three whole weeks in advance, obviously, of a, a discussion uh, on the, the lifting of the eviction ban. You had the, those three key votes in the Dáil, which mm -hmm. the democratically elected parliament quite clearly gave a verdict uh, on, on those three votes, and they were fairly strongly passed by the, by the government uh, side. So the national parliament uh, has now supported the lifting of, of the ban. Um, what you were, as was seen over over the past forty eight hours, was some some pushback, uh, not just on on this issue, but on the wider context of Sinn Féin's long term record on support or otherwise uh, for for Angarda Shiakana, and that that's why uh, this image was was particularly uh, picked upon. I mean, it's it's difficult to hear Adam say he's not having a go at the Gardaí. I think it's patently obvious that right. the print isn't a go at yeah, the Yeah, sure, sure. It's just your, your other portfolios of work just include putting a pig's face on a Garda attending an eviction. Was that not having a go at a Garda? I don't remember doing that. Was you don't remember doing that? You don't have control of your own social media account, do you know? Don't know. Well, all my work is right. satire. So, anyway. so there's... There, all right, so yeah. that's satire, is it? Putting a pig's face on a Garda. Uh, do you know what that image is actually from? So, so those, are, those are those are story images from right. um, a social centre in Stony Batter, that's right? Great. So they put them on their Instagram story. And, so and no, none of those them. photos were edited yeah. by me. They were actually and that's, posted... that's not your painting then? No, that's my painting. Yeah. That's not what you asked me, though. And of course, you that's, said, that's no, not... No, hang on. That's let, not let me consistent. Just ask me a question. That's not Yeah, let me finish my point, yeah, like point Matt. Uh, I didn't make that picture. That, that was from a story, and that was taken from the, the Instagram stories of that social centre, which is a social centre in Stony Batter, right? Right, with your painting, which was, uh, you uh, shared just, it. Will you be quiet for a second? Let me finish if you ask me a question. Um, the print, the last, so when I was saying these are issued for charity, the last time they were okay. issued for charity okay. was to raise money Adam's for... other views on the Gardaí on the Gardaí well, economy? Sir, you're in the middle of talking here. You, you yeah. asked me something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But what, what about Adam's to... views about the Gardaí Shikana, that they aid bailiffs carrying out evictions, that they protect bailiffs, that the bailiffs are covered by the Gardaí? When he says, if God forbid a property developer doesn't get their way, they, on Gardaí Shikana, will be on it like a fly on shite. Like, do you want to, so Adam, Adam's do you want view to, there? Do you want to answer? Is that, is that his respectful that? view of Angarda Shiakana? Well, well, I guess my view on that would be that there is no way for the Gardaí to respond to an eviction, legal or illegal, other than turning up, 
standing up and, as you say, supporting the bailiffs, standing right, around doing yeah. that. So, but you, Fiona, so, on this so, point, sorry, you're, sorry, you're, sorry, I know, and well, I, do sorry, it, I do think it is important it's, just it's, to say, we have Adam on talking there's about There's respect for Angarda Shiakana to uphold sure. the law in a sure. non-prejudicial basis. But I want basis. to say also he that, Adam, take that Adam, is, Adam is here as an artist who, who has... Who has who has pieces of art, who's put his work together, and surely he's entitled to well, do has, that as has an artist. He has now, politically motivated pieces of art. Maybe, maybe then there's an issue with a politician retweeting that. Which is maybe also, that's course, where the issue lies. Of course, you also go to Northern Ireland Adam. and you get his view on the PSNI as well. All right. Um, do, look, is it, is it, is it politically view on motivated, Adam? Is it, did you want to, do you want to answer that? Well, I'd imagine everything everyone's saying on this panel is probably politically motivated in some way. We have two TDs here, like so, I don't know. Um, my art is no my art is sorry, and you, George, I said too. Um, but uh, my art is political satire. I'm entitled to my own opinions, my own art. Um, if you don't like them, that's your problem.